Zenit has celebrated 150th anniversary last year, and it was really a tremendous anniversary, I believe. There are quite, uh, there's just a few big houses of watchmakers who exist for 150 years. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, what, were the, the, what were the experiences from the last year's celebration that echoed even this year in terms of image boost and sales and everything? Allora, avete um, celebrato l'anniversario di 105 anni e la domanda è uh, quali sono gli aspetti che Zenit uh, rappresenta? Che, che Zenit rappresenta in questo momento? In questo momento. First of all, uh, I, pers I was personally proud to celebrate together with Zenit 115 uh, anniversary and um, uh, to, to be part of such a, uh, a, an important um, um, uh, year is, uh, is something that gave us the, the biggest, uh, biggest push in order to do everything we need to, to act as ambassador of this, uh, this uh, awareness all over the world. Uh, myself with uh, all the, the Zenit team all over the world, we were very, very proud to do so. Um, it's, uh, it's very, very important to us to transmit our, our, our work values that takes the origin uh, 150 years old. The authenticity, which is the fear rouge in our history, the authenticity in doing things the same way uh, our uh, uh, founder, Georges Favre Jacot, started to do in uh, uh, 1875. We still produce uh, the, our watches, our movement, uh, with the same philosophy of our founder. And this is the, I mean, the main aspect of our 115th celebration. Uh, I understood that uh, this year you made quite a, a few uh, liaisons with very big brands as well from various fields. For example, your latest model is uh, a, a fruit of collaboration with a famous cigar maker, Cohiba, from right. Cuba. Can you explain a little bit uh, on that? And we, behind us, you can see the, the, the model just in a second. This is not the one, but... This is the classic yes, car. This is a cla this we can talk about classic car now of course the, the, the this is something that match our passion with the classic car with uh, with the um, uh, classic and antique uh, antique car and um, we are trying to develop this kind of passion all over the world with the different events uh, classic car in uh, in um, classic car, car tournament all over europe of course 24 hours of elegance we are absolutely in line with your event because of we are doing this kind of thing. We are of partner of this kind of uh, um, events all over the world. And uh, starting from 25th of uh, September this year, also with classic bikes, because we are going to support the distinguished gentleman. Yes, this is what I'm going to ask. Which is uh, uh, an event, first of all, based on, um, on, uh, on, the, on the need, on the, on the will to, to fundraise. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, founds for uh, the, the, the battle against the battle against cervical the, cancer the or, or the prostate cancer. Pro, excuse prostate, prostate cancer. cancer, yes. And all the, the gentlemen, they are very sensitive in this kind of Naturally. thing. And also because uh, we like to be on the on the wrist of the of uh, the gentlemen bikers. So it it will be si uh, something like a viral uh, uh, event all over the world. It will, it's. Uh, really spontaneous. Yeah. Yesterday night, the organizer of the DGR, the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride of Belgrade, was your host. Absolutely. We, Mr. Grom. We met, yes, yes correct? Yes, it's correct. amazing. And this is something that happened to me quite everywhere and, every, and in every place I go. I meet people from the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride. Yeah. This is the proof that uh, uh, um, um, uh, being a gentleman is not some, just something linked to the to one country, to, um, of uh, course. but it's, uh, it's universal. A, it's a universe. Yes, yes. In terms of, um, back to your question, Coiba. our partnership with Coiba is, um, Coiba gave us the opportunity to celebrate with the, with the brand the 15th anniversary of the um, uh, cigar uh, company. Yes, yeah, cigar maker. The common uh, um, the element of, the, of this uh, this partnership is that, uh, first of all, first of all, is that 
both cigars, both Zenit watches are made by hands. And this is a theme of our conference. We are not talking about luxury as, as, as a luxury, but we're talking about craftsmanship. Correct. And I think this is the very big distinction about uh, other conferences. Please, excuse me to interrupt. In a, in a, in a specific environment where, in terms of sales, yes. uh, we sell all over the world the brand, the final clients, they buy the brand, they, they forget about I was talking with Mr. Carousel yesterday night about this, this kind of matter. I was very, very impressed to listen his way to produce and his way to defend the way he produced and the, he used to produce since the, the beginning of, the, of uh, his uh, history. Yes. It's quite impressive for me to, to meet such a lot of uh, people trying to, to be uh, so much coherent and so much proud. Yeah. In, uh, in defending these values. Uh, another interesting thing is that today uh, we realize that uh, the, the, the watchmaker's market, the luxury market of, uh, of the watches is undergoing change as well. The, the sales in China, which was the main driver, are a little bit slower than, than everyone expected, but still Zenit has managed to find the niche, the price range that is quite adequate, I think, even in these conditions. Correct, correct. Uh, Chinese market is driving the business all over yeah. the world, and we are, as a brand, I mean, not, uh, not only Zenit, but of course we are obliged to go in this direction. Certainly. This is very, very dangerous because, uh, I mean, I wish that Chinese customer, fi China, Chinese final customer will go more uh, in the, um, will be more oriented in craftsmanship. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, they are not. Yeah. They buy everything they, say, or they see on the, on the ADV, and uh, they don't, do not care enough about uh, uh, the real value of the luxury good. So we are not, uh, as a Zenit, and uh, Mr. Um, Caruccelli the same, and I, I'm sure that a lot of people in Mr. this Caraceni. room, Caruccelli, sorry, they are trying to do this kind of thing, and they do not, in order to, this is the reason why I, I, was, I was talking about proudness, because uh, it must be proud, you must be proud to be coherent enough to continue to do like this, instead of, um, uh, being attracted of the, um, the, the of the, the brand, the, the brand, the, yes, yeah. Yes, and, yeah. But it, it's clear; it's a learning curve. Yeah. Every market has its peculiarities, so. and definitely they so. will arrive. I mean, I'm sure that it's the the, the, the fact. Uh, there was uh, yet another model that you introduced: the new version of your pilot, your iconic model, and your connection with uh, airplanes or the the sky. I mean, yeah. if I may say, we very well known that uh, uh, Felix Baumgartner was the, yeah. one of the stars of uh, uh, with Zenit Watch, who yeah. jumped from the edge of heavens, yeah, and then you have a pilot. He, yeah. he was like astronaut pilot, no? Our vis vision of a, of a pilot today is a, a pilot in general. Yes. Pilot of a car, pilot of a bike, pilot, pilot of an airplane. Of course, this kind of watch was born um, thinking about, inspired by the, the aviation. Of course. You have a big case, you have a big dial. The readability is very, very important yes. in this kind of um, watch. Uh, you have a, a big crone because the pilots, at the beginning of the, the aviation history, they were they was wearing gloves, so they need to have big crowns and whatever. But now we have adapted this kind of watch to everyone um, linked with the passion of, uh, of uh, driving something. Of course. But we never forget the gentleman mood, the gentleman and the, the, um, the, the pioneerist, pioneeristic mood. That's the key word, the gentleman, I believe, in every sense, of course. A uh, couple of words about the future projects, if there are some, some uh, new models that are uh, on the, on the a horizon. New a new partnership will be discovered in, uh, on 29th of September, but mm -hmm. it's strictly confidential and there is a big embargo of it. You will, right. uh, I will uh, invite you to stay tuned All right. after the 29th, um, because this, is, this will be the biggest on uh, on the on the coming uh, coming months and uh, we we'd rather prefer to be concentrated on um, 
a clear and pure message in line with what we are doing now. In the meantime, all the gentlemen can enjoy the Zenit watches and the models that are on display here at Salon of Excellence. If they wish to do so, I will be more than welcome to... Uh, many thanks. To welcome you. Many thanks.